Hello. Hello. You're wonderful. Talk well, to me. I tell you. Well, Mr. Renfrew, it's a pleasure being on your show. Oh. I'm talking to you. I like your tie. It's Veterans Day. Well, that's right, and uh, we, must, uh, we must never forget the way they died for our country. How did they die uh, for our country? Well, <laughs> if you read the history, you'll know. Uh, the fact is, uh, and that's a day that can never be forgotten in any war. Which day are you speaking of? Because I know that you, I've been told, you're an authority on pre-World War I period. Uh, Authority, no. Uh, the real authorities are the people who collect the records, the people who uh, spend their lives as a hobby. I just collect songs and try to present them to the public. You're going to be doing that this right. Sunday, right? Try at the Lone Star Cafe with Kinky Friedman. Where, what have you been doing all this time, may oh, I ask? I've, may I've I been ask? traveling across the country from here to Australia to England to um, Germany, uh, I'm just performing. Okay. <laughs> Tell me, oh, right. How did you come to um, become interested in those songs of the, you know, from the turn of the century? Well, that's a good question. I tell you, the melodies were great. The times were forgotten because at that time, uh, the electric phonograph was not in existence then, and most of our songs have been with the great melodies in the 1800s, the early 1900s, uh, have all but been lost. Plus the great artists who did them, like Henry Byrne, Billy Murray, Irving Kaufman, and so I just have a feeling for these things, and I present them, whether it's at the Lone Star this Sunday, or uh, wherever. Do you, but um, are you also attracted to that particular period because it's sort of the last gracious period in well I, I wouldn't say that uh, I mean whatever is popular music whether it's 1881 or 1981 uh, I always follow top 10 whether it's songs like Betty Davis Eyes or It's a Long Way to Tipperary it's just that I do these numbers more because uh, they have they have been forgotten and the melodies are great that's true you have influenced a lot of people I hope so I don't know how many <laughs> I hope so because you were telling me before that um, you had known Helen Reddy. Uh, Not only known her, I've given uh, her her first big break, and the same uh, putting her on the stage with me back in 1970 at the Fremont Hotel in Vegas, and then uh, I gave Paul Williams his first big break back in 67. 